Okay, we're on question number 21, and uh, looking at it, it was a little bit confusing, and the reason for that, there's two variables in it, and it, the question is, you know, I have to solve this thing for x. So what I would do is um, certainly clear the fraction by multiplying both sides by the LCD, which is just simply x. What would you get? You would get x squared plus 1 equals 2 cosine theta times x. All right? Still looks strange to me. I'm going to solve for 0. That's going to be x squared minus 2 cosine theta times x plus 1 equals 0. This is quadratic in form. Um, yeah, I have to write down the a, b, and the c now. So the a is 1. The b is actually minus 2 cosine of theta. It's a coefficient in linear term. And what's the c over here? Whoops, sorry about that. The c is going to be equal to the number 1. Using a quadratic formula, x equals, let's just carefully write this down, the opposite of b, plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over twice a. Let's go through that. Again, I'm solving for x. <clears throat> What's uh, the opposite of b? It's 2 cosine theta. All right, plus or minus. Uh, what's the b squared? It's going to be 4 cosine squared. All right, then minus 4 times a times c. That's 4 times 1, which is 4 times 1, which is 4. So minus 4 over twice a, which is 2. Let's simplify. Actually, you solve for x at this point. You've already done that. So you get 2 cosine theta. Let's see, plus or minus. I'm going to factor the 4 out. And the square root of 4 is 2. Then you left off with cosine squared theta minus 1 over 2. I'm going to divide through by 2. You get cosine theta plus or minus, uh, let's see, the root of cosine squared theta minus 1. Mistakes happen. It's pretty with Thagorean Dan. You look at this and say, oh, it's a sine squared theta. It's not. Let me go through that with you. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So just, if I were to write that down, sine squared of theta would be the same thing as 1 minus cosine squared theta. So this is actually the opposite of sine squared. So let's write that down. So cosine theta plus or minus, and this can be the square root of minus sine squared theta. Well, just like you've done in math, you know, pull out the minus 1, what do you get? Cosine theta plus or minus i square root of sine squared theta. All right? Now, with the saving grace over here, I don't have to worry about absolute value because there's a plus or minus over there. So let's just write this down. Cosine of theta plus or minus i. I can remove the root symbol. Again, that plus or minus allows me to do that without the absolute value. Sine theta. Do I recognize that? I do. I recognize that as being e. Right? This is Euler's representation of the number. e to the plus or minus i theta. That's what x is. Okay. I also want to point out, you probably should watch this video as well. All right? What is this video here? Me verifying the solution. Not by, you know, going back to the original equation uh, by, and doing it by hand, but by using sage math, which I encourage you to start looking at. Thank you.